Hi all, so welcome to this channel and in this video session I will discuss integrated file system concepts. Um, so the first uh, concept is of directories. So let's start with what is directory. Directory uh, is an object or you can say it's an special object through which we can locate the other objects in that directory. So We have we have different directories such as uh, uh, you can say uh, qsys.lib. Let me show you the things. So we can access the directories. So the slash is the root directory. I'll I'll be letting you know. So once I click five on this, I'll I'll be coming inside the directories. So we have several subdirectories. So a subdirectory can contain uh, the other objects, or like you can see, this it's a file, it's a text file, and uh, it also can contain the other directories. So those directories would uh, be treated as a subdirectory inside that. So here, let me show you qsys .lib. If I took five here, so you will you will see that uh, for qsys.lib, what we can see is the libraries are playing the role of a subdirectory here. So if I want to access any library on the system on the IBM my system, I can access this through the directory qsys.lib and through the IFS as well. So let's say if we are doing the uh, whenever we are doing the FTP, also we what we do is we access through the IFS. So you can see these are all the libraries which are uh, treated as the uh, objects present inside the di directory. This is slash qsys dot lib. So if I would say this library can also be a subdirectory because we have several other objects inside the libraries like let's say a database file and I can also say uh, that an object or even that an subdirectory for its member because a, a database file also have a member. So if I want to access to a member, I would have to traverse through each directory path that is a qsys.lib and then slash again and then through that library name dot lib and then that pf and up to that member so we can access uh, through a link basically so the uh, we need to reverse through these subdirectories or the directories to access particular object so if i want to access the library this library or a particular file i need to go through the slash qsys dot lib and all that things so Libraries are stored inside the uh, qsys.lib so I can access any library on the system through this ASP uh, so if basically we have independent ASPs installed on the systems uh, if I would have that so I, I, I would love to show you that but uh, here I don't have that so in that case what happened uh, the slash then ASP name would get appended and then slash qsys.lib so these the things would be uh, go in this manner that uh, ASP name would be appended to the uh, at the start after the root so the main the top one is the root one slash and then inside that root every other directory comes the same way we have let me show you So, so I cannot access this I am getting this error but we have a QDLS uh, directory uh, 
which basically stores the uh, folders and uh, the documents so folders uh, so let me uh, tell you the concept here uh, in QDLS uh, thing what happened there, uh, there, there there are folders and the objects so the folders treated as a subdirectory there inside the QDLS and the documents are treated as the objects which you want to access that uh, directory so this way uh, we are getting that what is directory so I, I took example of qsys.lib and we don't have the ASP here so we we are not able to access the QDLS too but uh, the concept of QDLS is something where folders are treated as subdirectory the documents are as objects in qsys.lib as we all know we do FTPs and uh, here we can access any library any file using the directory thing now the second concept is of current directory so the current directory is same as uh, the concept of current directory same as the concept of current library so you have you always have a current library uh, default uh, library associated with your user profile and uh, and if you open multiple sessions or if you run multiple jobs the current library would be seen everywhere uh, multiple threads you can say so the current di directory would be same everywhere in case if it gets changed in any of the thread it would be changed in or it would be reflected in all the threads so the same way the system searches for any objects in any library so the first system would search for anything if you are asking or searching that will be searched in your current directory so that's the concept of current directory the same as the current library third one is the home directory so I would say uh, home directory is uh, associated or you can say it's also in current directory but it is uh, for a limited specific uh, reason when it's a current directory because when we want uh, when we do a sign on onto the system so, so what happened your home directory works as a current directory so if you because it is associated with your, with your user profile so since it is associated with your user profile so everything will be logged into the home directory when you log into the system so in case if you don't have the home directory associated with the user profile then the home directory would be your the would be the root directory so the default home directory would be the root directory in that case but it's a responsibility of the uh, administrative guy who is creating your user profile so he he must or the guy must have to uh, create uh, the home directory as well which is same as the user profile so we'll be providing the star user prf thing there in the home directory so that the name of the user uh, directory and the user profile will be same because home directory is basically uh, works or as a current directory when you do the login so let me show you the home directory so inside the root we can see the home directory so for every user there is a directory so let me show you my So you can see uh, this is my home directory or I have several uh, files inside that I don't have any sub directory inside my, uh, my directory so this is the home directory which which serves as a purpose of the current directory uh, uh, during the sign on process in case if I don't have this associated with my user profile or it's not created then in that case root directory slash directory would be uh, my home directory so we can uh, change the directory using this command 
me see if I have the permission so I can I can change the current directory at any time I want but if I change that in any of the uh, thread that will that would be reflected to the whole number of threads which are uh, initiated by my process but in case if I would change the home directory in a particular uh, thread then it would be reflected into that thread only so it won't affect any other threads so this is the concept which we uh, must have to ensure when we are doing such things and uh, we have several other APIs as well CHG, CHDIR change current directory or change current directory using descriptor so these are the APIs which we can use to perform the change current directory this is the command CL command this is other another API uh, uh, which is used to change the thread home directory particular thread home directory when we are uh, dealing with the multiple threads and the next things are uh, next so these are the concepts which we must know when we are uh, dealing with the directory uh, the current directory the home directory what is directory qsys.lib directory and other directories so we have uh, several provided directories which I'll be letting you know here so we have the first thing is slash temp take f4 here so you can see uh, this temp has some uh, temporary files so or objects so we can have the temporary files or objects um, here uh, which are created by any process and it's the application uh, or the, the guy, guy's responsibility with creating the objects inside that so it's generally for uh, the temporary purpose so when we want that we should create some temporary objects we should create them in the temp thing and we can then later delete deleted them so these are the apis which we can use to uh, remove any object like unlink or uh, delete or erase these are the objects uh, these are the apis or command you can see which we can use to remove the objects from the directories this is remove directory you can remove the directory you can move the objects using these commands you can rename the objects or the directory or you can use rename api so all these things you can use to uh, perform any action on an object or the directory on the ifs so i already told about the slash home uh, directory uh, another one is slash etc so this one So this has several other uh, directories or the uh, files basically and uh, these uh, uh, you can say these are the administrative file or the configuration or other system files which it stores slash user is something uh, which includes other subdirectories that contain information which is used by the system. So you can see the these directories have other subdirectories and they have other objects like data uh, some files which are um, used by the system slash user slash bin uh, slash user slash bin so you can see uh, this is uh, standard this holds the standard utility programs which I mentioned here you can see pgm objects are here let me open I cannot so object type is not valid for operation so then this one slash qibm which is a system directory provided by the ibm okay and uh, then inside that slash qibm 
slash proud data and user data so these are the two ones uh, system directory used for license program so here uh, we have directories which have the license program as you can see you can see the jars directories so this basically contains the license programs uh, this would contain some license program for user data such as configuration files let me show you You can see these contains the configuration files for the this is slash q open sys uh, q ibm so the same way we have q ibm we have slash q this is a different file system basically uh, which is an open standards uh, file system based upon the uh, uh, unix or so uh, these have the same things which I explained here for these things so it basically uh, contains the this is a system directory provided by provided by the IBM so uh, and uh, they basically store the things related to the uh, systems for this file system so this contains the license program for this file system this contains the like um, the directories used by the license program uh, for user data such as uh, configuration files for this file system and again now ASP name and IB, QIBM and ASP name QIBM user data so these things the same things like this and this um, here uh, like this and this one so here we have the ASP name so uh, it is basically related with the independent ASP so if you have installed the ASP on your machine then uh, you will be having this current directory so if you if you if you have the ability uh, authority to delete these directories you can delete them so whenever your system restart uh, that will be uh, uh, automatically recreated on every restart slash dev So slash dev will contain the uh, system files or the directories. Let me have a look. Okay. Then, uh, then we have slash dev xti contains a UDP and TCP device driver. So uh, let me open this xti. TCP and UDP. So these are uh, two drivers, uh, device drivers which are uh, stored here. So these are the basic information uh, regarding the directories which you, which uh, have been provided to us and a concept of the home directory, current directory, uh, what it's all about qsys.lib. So you got to know all these things here in this video. So that's all in this video. Thank you and have a nice day.